Researchers at UCSF are getting a new look at a cancer that affects one in six men. Prostate cancer is the second leading cause of cancer death among American men, but now vivid new images could help determine the best course of treatment. So just go ahead and relax your arm. Like many men diagnosed with lower-grade prostate cancer, John Nolan has opted for a treatment strategy called active surveillance, postponing potentially yeah. risky treatments while doctors monitor his cancer. So 126 over 78. And now an experimental technology is making surveillance much more precise. Well, you, you have some idea what's going on in terms of where is the cancer, how big is it, is it getting larger with time. And these metabolic signatures, what gives us the, the confidence uh, that these regions are um, clearly cancer. Radiology professor John Kurhanowitz is part of a research team at UCSF that's experimenting with a new imaging agent. It allows researchers to view the growth of cancer cells in real time by spying on their metabolism. You know, it's been known for a long time that cancer cells have a different metabolism than other cells do. And so we're taking advantage of, of what has been known for decades, but that we didn't have the technology to look at. To accomplish that, technicians cool a compound called pyruvate to very low temperatures. That has the effect of stirring up its atoms to make it instantly visible through an MRI. The mixture is then injected back into the patient before the scan. Researchers say the key is that pyruvate is a naturally occurring compound used by cells to create energy. And we also know that cancer cells, which are rapidly dividing and have really high metabolism rates, will take up those substances um, before healthy uh, cells uh, take up those nutrients. Professor Marcus Ferroni says the MRI is able to focus in on the pyruvate as the cancer cells are metabolizing it. Without the new technique, the scan on the left looks normal but the one on the right pinpoints the concentration of pyruvate in the cancerous area. We're able to do this fairly quickly in a short period of time, get a lot of data in real time and watch it change over a period of minutes. He says that ability also allows them to determine if the cancer is growing and how aggressively. For patients and their doctors, it offers a much more accurate assessment on which to base their decisions. That saying about a picture being worth a thousand words is really true in this, in this setting too. And so anything we can do to improve the accuracy in, in locating the tumors, determining how big they are, how aggressive they might be, is great. Now, so far, the trials have shown no side effects. In the next round, researchers plan to increase the levels of pyruvate in the hope of producing even more precise images.